A woman said she's still shaken after someone attacked her last week in Amory. That attack came just one day after someone killed Judy Baxter in her Amory home. WTVA's Brianna Bynum spoke to the victim and tells us if she thinks the attacks are related. Callie Chisholm said she doesn't know if the person responsible for killing Baxter is her attacker. She did say that she suspected her attacker was a man and prayed that whoever it was doesn't strike again. I'm still here just struggling, trying to process everything and get my life back to normal as much as possible. Callie Chisholm said she had just dropped off a friend at a home near Meadowbrook Circle when someone attacked her from behind and left this knot on her head. I feel like I uh, had been drug across the street. Um, I have bruises all over my hip. Her attack happened one day after someone killed Judy Baxter in her Amory home. I don't know as much as the next person. I know it happened to me. I know that I was grabbed from behind, but as far as if this is related to the other crimes, I don't know. Chisholm worked with police here at the station to hopefully put an end to the attacks here in Amory. She fought through tears to share a message to whoever did the crime. Whomever is doing this, whether it's one or two people, you are in my prayers. Um, and that's something really hard for me to say. <clears throat> but you must have had a hard life to do something like this. Police Chief Ronnie Bowen said there were no updates for either crimes as of this afternoon. Both cases are still under investigation. In Amory, Brianna Bynum, WTVA 9 News.